Now, the fourth bridge joining Edinburgh with Fife opened in 1890 and remains one of the world's most recognisable landmarks. A second bridge across the Firth of Forth followed in the 1960s. Now, work on a third is gathering pace and is due to be finished by the end of the year, as our Scotland correspondent Kevin Keane has been finding out. Three different bridges from three different centuries. And the latest, the Queensferry Crossing, is in its final stages of construction. The three towers stand at 200 metres, making this the tallest bridge in the UK, literally dwarfing the previous biggest, the Forth Road Bridge. So this will be the northbound carriageway with traffic travelling from Edinburgh in that direction along two lanes plus a hard shoulder, but for the moment this is literally the end of the road. In the past few weeks, drivers will have noticed its spans growing in length. Each section of roadway is suspended from the tower using up to 109 cables. So this is the business end, just talk me through what this is. OK, this is one of our stays which hold up the bridge deck. So um, each of these uh, seven wire strands are coated in this plastic coating, so it's very durable. We install those one by one. How strong is this? This, this one can take up to 500 tonnes once the bridge is, is, is completed. For some working here, this is more than just a job. Apprentice engineer Keir Stanton's grandfather worked on the current road bridge, his great-granddad on the Victorian rail bridge. It wasn't until we were rummaging around photos and then my, my grandma found one of my great-granddad and my granddad and said, oh, that was when they were both working on the bridge and then it clicked on. Well, it's three of us working on the bridge. Just as the Victorians advanced bridge engineering, the designers of the Queensferry Crossing are doing the same. The cable stage structure is one of the biggest in the world. Well, this is one pre-made section of the roadway. It weighs 750 tonnes and has to be lifted 60 metres into the air. When that's completed, it all has to be done again 122 times. And inside the deck, much of the work is already done. This is the uh, inside of the bridge. This has all been prefabricated previously, so um, now we're uh, joining these elements together to make a sealed airtight container, basically. After five years of construction, this bridge is now on its final lap. By the end of this year, it won't just be the rainbow going over it. Kevin Keane, BBC News, on the Queensferry Crossing. Now let's have a look at the weather.